All right, welcome to Grandpa's YouTube channel for the 4th of July. We're in the, uh, I guess you'd call it the music studio, the farmhouse, living it large and living the life in Herbster, Wisconsin for the 4th of July. All right. We're going to play a few on the trumpet here. Get my glasses on. See, I got my All-American shirt, All-American hat on today. Because it's all about the 4th of July today. We're going to play several songs, and I'm going to try to tell you a little bit about them. Something a little different and unique with them. First one is uh, America. My country, Tis of Thee, and uh, that's kind of an old traditional one. We'll play that one. <laughs> Next one will be American the Beautiful, Oh Beautiful for Spacious Skies, you might know it as. And that one, this particular song, probably the best version of it is the Ray Charles one. You should look that up and listen to it, but also look up the Phil Driscoll version, very similar to Ray Charles. Both of them are good. Look them up, Ray Charles, America the Beautiful. The next one is going to have actually three songs in one, and I'm going to give you a little quiz here. See if you can figure out which branch of the armed forces that each song goes with. And I'll tell you at the end. So, The Armed Forces Medley, it's called. And it's by John Philip Sousa. We'll talk about him later.
three different songs. The first one was kind of a World War I it started, I do believe. It's called The Caissons Go Rolling Along. Now it's called The Army Goes Rolling Along. That's the song for the Army. Second one was the Marine hit, Marines Hymn from the Hills of Montezuma, you might know. And the third one was for the Navy, Anchors Away. All three good songs. Next one I'm going to play is the Battle Hymn of the Republic. That was a song that was originally um, started or originally produced in, uh, during the Civil War. And uh, listen to it because some of it's weird. We'll talk about why it's weird when it's done. noticed and heard the middle part which is called uh, the interlude they call it that was in a minor key so you're used to hearing major keys for you musicians that know something about it minor key sounds weird to whether you're a musician or not and for any trumpet player there was a little triple tongue in there so I I think most of my trumpet players know how to do it in the family, the two girls. All right, and if not, Abby, you'll learn quick enough. All right, we are going to move on to the next song. As soon as I can find it here. The next one is Yankee Doodle. And I'm going to be playing two versions of it, Yankee Doodle and Yankee Doodle Dandy. Yankee Doodle is from the Revolutionary War. How long ago was that? A long time ago, 1776-ish and, and later, or maybe a little bit before even. Not exactly sure about the dates. Um, it was a actually a song that was written by our revolutionary forces in the U.S. because the um, British, the British soldiers called them Yankee Doodles, which was a derogatory remark back then. But they wore it like a badge of honor and this song was written about it. You know it, it's real simple. called the Yankee Doodle Boy or I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that and have you watch a movie if you want to about it. Yankee Doodle Dandy. It was written by George M. Cohen um, back 
World War One, World War Two period in that time frame in between. And there was a movie called Yankee Doodle Boy. I'm a Yankee Doodle Boy, the movie is called. And it stars somebody who's an old actor. This was from the 40s and 50s. And he had a famous line that he actually never said. We'll talk about that afterwards. Yankee Doodle Dandy, George Cohen wrote it. You'll recognize this. seconds one two time is up it was and I gotta find it here I didn't write his name down well anyway it was the actor that is famously known for saying you dirty rat he never said that he said you dirty yellow bellied rat but everybody thinks he said, you dirty rat. So his name, I got it here, James Cagney. He's the one that was famous for that. Watch that movie. I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy starring James Candy, uh, Cagney, rather. It's a very good movie. All right. Now we're going to play another one by George Cohan, You're a Grand Old Flag. coming up later on. Happy 4th of July.